guys, it is Max Imagination here. So today, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a chain nut spinner. Take a really close look at it. As you can see, it has a chain going around, a couple of nuts, and a bearing in the middle. And that's how it looks like when I give it a spin. So before we start with this tutorial, let me show you all the materials you're going to need to make this fidget spinner. Alright guys, so here are the things you're going to need to make this fidget spinner. You will need a knife, some super glue, two zip ties about 1.5 millimeters in thickness, 20 lengths of bicycle chain, two strips of rubber which are about 6.5 centimeters in length or 2.5 inches in length, two hex nuts about 1.8 centimeters in diameter or 8 millimeters in width, a 608 bearing, and then two buttons of your choice. Okay, so before we start, I just quickly wanted to tell you one thing, is that if you're wondering how to detach the bicycle chain, you can use a uh, chain breaker, or you could actually use a center punch and a hammer to bang out one of the pins. And there's also a link in the description right down below to one of my videos where I'm showing how to detach the bicycle chain. So let's start out by taking one of your nuts and one of your strips of rubber and also using some super glue on the nuts just put a bit of glue like that and then put your rubber on top and just squeeze it and then give it a little bit of time to dry and you're gonna move on to the next point put some more super glue pull your rubber down and you're going to keep doing this until the rubber is all the way around your hex nut. Alright, so let's do the second one. Alright, so now both the hex nuts have rubber all the way around them. The next step is you're going to take your chain and your bearing and a couple of zip ties. You're going to outline your chain over the two hex nuts. Make it look something like this. Take your 608 bearing, put it in the middle, like so. And then the next thing, you see these two links right here on each side? You're going to take your little zip tie and you're, you're just going to pull it right through the middle in between the hex nut and the bearing and then you're going to pull it around and go on the other side to get something like that. And now you're going to pull your zip tie right through like so. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. And I've got something that looks like that. You're just going to have to keep pulling your zip ties tighter and tighter. Now also if you don't want your hex nuts to fall out, then do use some super glue on the edges. Like so. And make sure you line your hex nut up perfectly so that it looks equal from both sides. Also glue your chain together so that the uh, chain links don't move around. It's delicious. Now you're going to leave your fidget spinner to dry. Alright, so now that your fidget spinner is finished drying, the next step is you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut the zip ties off. Make sure you do not cut your fingers. That's a really important thing. Like that. So now you're going to glue your buttons on. You're going to take some of your super glue, put some glue on the flat side of your button, all the way around like that. Now you're going to put one of them 
onto your bearing. Make sure it is perfectly centered. Now you're going to take your other one, put a bit of glue on that. Like so. Flip your fidget spinner over and then put your second button on. Now you're going to give your button some time to dry onto the bearing. So now that the buttons are finished drying, you got your fidget spinner guys. There it is. Now let's give it a good spin test. Thanks for watching. Peace.